What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, I'm bringing you guys a great Series 13 team to help you push high ranks in the brand new season. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. We upload here every single day and we got tons of brand new content coming to the channel. So like I said, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my content. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my man, Gail. Gail, thank you so much for being a longtime viewer and thank you so much for leaving this rental code for me over on my Twitter page. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, make sure you head down the link in the description below to my Twitter page. Change YouTube over on Twitter, either DM me or tweet me your guys' around the codes because I love using fan-made themes for YouTube videos. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with one of my favorite Pokemon to use in the rank ladder. We got ourselves Prankster Lake Clay Grimstar. I love this Pokemon. I think he's so good and he's just, he's just, I don't know why. I just love him ever since I used him back in like series like one. He's just amazing. He's got Light Screen. He's got Reflect. He's got Fake Tears. And then he's got Spirit Break for his Lonesome Stab move. Second Pokemon is going to be Zeraor. We got a nice little mythical Pokemon here. Zeraor is just a great lead and great at controlling speed, considering it learns E-Web and it is super fast at the same time. It's got Volt Absorb as its ability, alongside with the Soul Fest as its item. And then the four moves it is rocking with is going to be Fake Out, Electro Web, Plasma Fist, and Volt Switch to pivot out. Middle left is going to be Yveltal over here, and I really do like Yveltal. I just think this Pokemon is great in most situations, and its moveset it learns is phenomenal. This one has Dark Aurora, alongside with the weakest policy as item, and the moveset is going to be Oblivion Wing, Dark Pulse, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Choice Scarf Kyogre, and I think Choice Scarf Kyogre is just one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. It just outspeeds everything, and it hits like a truck at the same time. It's got Drizzle as its ability, then the moveset is fairly normal with Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, and Thunder. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Zacian over here, and it's not a normal Zacian, it is a Wild Charge Zacian. So instead of Sacred Sword, it's Rock and Wild Charge, but then everything else is pretty straightforward. It's got Iron Head, Play Rough, and Protect for its other three moves, and then Interpret Sword, and Rusted Sword for its item and ability. Final Pokemon is going to be Zapdos over here. And Zapdos is one of the best Pokemon in Dynamax form. Its typing is amazing, plus it has great coverage moves on top of that. It's got Pressure alongside with the Life Orb as item, and it's got Hurricane, Thunder, Heat Wave, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this high rank Series 13 team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Series 12 team. I actually used this team in Series 12 and showcased it in a video, but I don't want to underestimate my opponent, considering he has a lack of legendaries, which can play as one normal, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here. But how should I lead this one? How should I play it? I feel like Yveltal and Grimstarl is a solid lead, considering it kind of covers a lot. We can grant some speed control, and we can kind of go from there. So I really do like that. I do like that. So I might go them too, or I could lead Zeraor with that Assault Fest. It'd be really good. Be really good, but I really do like the Grim Strong because we have fake tears. We can set up screens, we can get speed control with the belt off, and we kind of go from there. So, Ka Kyogre is definitely gonna come, gonna come in the back end, and then last but not least, I feel like we have to bring Zassian, right? Zassian is just too good not to bring. Yeah, let's lock it in, let's lock it down, let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this team doesn't really have any off meta Pokemon. I'm bringing you guys this team and showcasing it so you guys can push some high ranks for this uh brand new season because the new October season just came out. By the time I'm recording this, it's uh, October 2nd, but by the time I upload it, it's probably going to be a little bit later. But hopefully you guys use this team, push up into that match here, and I help you guys out a little bit. But let's see who our opponent's going to lead. Let's see who our lovely opponent's going to lead. Because like I said, it's a Series 12 team. I think Shadow Rider Kylox is probably going to come out here. No, he goes Ditto and Talonflame. Okay, I don't mind if Ditto and Talonflame coming out here. I mean, he's going to definitely Tailwind. He's going to probably transform. He's going to roll off from there. And he's going to get after it. But uh, I definitely got a Dynamax, right? <clears throat> I definitely got a Dynamax and probably set up a Reflect here. Let's see who Ditto changed into. He's gonna change into my Grimstone. So yeah, I'm gonna set up a Reflect. I mean, he can set up screens too, which is a little scary. I don't like that one bit. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. But from here, yeah, definitely have to go into this Airstream. I think I have to start going after his, uh, what do I go after here? Hmm. Actually, I'm gonna go after Talonflame. I'm gonna get rid of the Talonflame because, because I want that uh, Grimstone will actually spirit break my Yveltal and proc policy, which will be really good for us. But then after we get a little bit of speed from Airstreams, I think we can just start uh, fake tearing, lowering special defense, kind of going from there. But I definitely need to get some screens set up. So we're going to Dynamax Yveltal. He's probably going to tailwind with the uh, 
with the what's it called with the town flame and then he's probably gonna set up screens just like us that dang ditto man do me dirty that dang ditto so we get off that reflect and he might not even be going for tailwind that would have went first right now we go straight for a flare blitz he's going for a flare blitz and he's not going for it i think he's gonna pop policy here which would be huge for us you gonna pop policy better pop my policy hopefully it's ko still be big time ko be big time ko we do not pick up the ko but still our uh, grimstrong can outspeed now we could just spear break and take that thing out kind of with that i'm kind of digging it Let's see what he goes into you go for a spear break into my grimstrong so he's gonna double down to my grimstrong that's totally fine that's totally fine i can set up the slate screen easily um i could actually stay in this battle i could just darkness and finish uh hmm, what do i want to do here i could go after the ditto here and then just spear break this thing which i kind of want to do but i think i am going to do get a bit more speed on our side and kind of roll out from there i'm with that i'm with that all day but i'm hoping he would spear break me i want him to spear break my yvelt all i was really hoping that would happen that turn because that would be enormous that really would be big but if i get rid of talent flame without him setting up a win i could definitely fake tears next turn and get off some big damage on whichever pokemon i want to and of course this thing has the what is it the uh kusat berry it's gonna act it's gonna go faster and he's gonna pop it in door wow of course this thing has kusat berry airstream's gonna fly through here we're gonna do some damage over onto this guy and then we're just gonna go from there kind of tough from us now but i really need to take out a pokemon there i really wanted to take out a pokemon there but still, I feel like we're kind of thriving here. We got speed. We're going to take out this guy. Well, we're going to put him on one door, and I'll take him out next turn. That's fine. That is totally fine. He's going to end up going for Spirit Break, and I think we can eat this one up, right? Can you eat this one up, Grimstarl? Do not. That hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. We do not eat that one up. It's all good. We got to reflect up. And he has a lot of physical attacks in the back end, but I feel like we can just go straight into... Do I save my Kyogre? Hmm. <clears throat> I could save my Kyogre, which I think I want to do. I think I just want to go straight into Zacian and actually give Zacian a speed boost. Really, really good for us, considering if he has uh, Shadow Rider in the back, my Zacian can then outspeed it, and I'll be really good. Okay, cool. Dope, dope, dope. So I feel like he sets up a screen here, and for us, we just want to go into a straight back share stream, finish off the Town Flame, and then just go straight into a Behemoth Flame. I'm cool with that. I don't mind this turn. Because again, if we can have some nice little speed on our Zacian here. I feel like him Dynamaxing isn't really going to be a problem for us. Because if we could just Behemoth Blade and just do some crazy damage to it. So we're going to end up dropping the Talon Flame. Beautiful. Get that speed boost. Behemoth Blade's going to fly through here. Take out the Grimstarl. And then the back end Pokemon I would think he would have would be Kyurem. Alongside with Shadow Rider College. And we have two Pokemon that can completely counteract them all day. Which is huge. Which, which is huge. Because I can just Sucker Punch with my Yveltal. And I can just Behemoth Blade the... Uh, cure him with my with my Zacian and speed's on our side too because we were just boosting speed for it with our Dynamax so again I really really do like where we're sitting the only thing I wish we would have done would be set up a light screen because up against special attackers that could have been huge but again without that I still think we're fine I still think we're doing just fine about number one but Calyrex is gonna, co gonna come out here and Kyurem's gonna come out here. exactly what I thought it would be exactly what I thought it would be so I'm just gonna sucker punch into that uh into that Calyrex, and then I'm just going to Behemoth Blade into the Kyurem. I feel like that's just a fine turn. I think that's just a perfectly fine turn for us. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because he's got a Dynamax 1. He's probably Focus Ash on the Calyrex anyway. But yeah, Sucker Punch is definitely flying out here. And then on top of that, straight up Behemoth Blade right into the Kyurem. Just in case Kyurem wants to Dynamax. Let's do it. Send him out of here. Big time plays coming here. I knew, I knew the speed boost would have been huge. And then on top of that, we still have our uh, Choice Scarf Kyger in the back end who can outspeed both these guys. I can just pop a Water Spout if need be, but I think my Zacian and Andy Beltal could just clean up this battle and we could pick up an easy victory here in battle number one. But let's see what he goes into because obviously he's going to have to Dynamax. And I wonder if he's going to Max Guard. I really do wonder what he's going to do here. I am curious. I am very curious. And he's going to end up Dynamax into Kyrim. So if Kyrim doesn't guard here, it is dead. It will die one shot, no problem. Cannot stand his ass in Behemoth Blade. Cannot do it. It cannot do it. Sucker Punch flies through here. And it's going to fail. So what is Calyrex going for? A Will-O-Wisp? Is he trying to go for a Will-O-Wisp here? 
I wonder what Calyx is going for, but, but this Behemoth Blade takes out Kira all day, which is awesome, right? Yep, see you later. And it's GG's, because I'm just going to keep popping Sucker Punches until this dude wants to move. It's all good. It is over. And I really do wonder what Calyx is going for. Trick Room, maybe? It would have been a Trick Room play. It is a Trick Room play. It is a trick and play, and his, if he was smart, he would have max guarded the Kirim, which would have been his only way out. Would be max guard the Kirim and kind of go from there, but he did not. He did not, and he kind of just lost the battle to himself. So I'm just going to keep dropping Sucker Punches. I'm just going to drop Behemoth Blade. He loses regardless here, because, again, Sucker Punch is just going to keep coming with that first turn priority. So there goes Sucker Punch, brings it down to Focus Ash. He's not going to be able to take out any of my, any of my Pokemon. I thought that was weakness policy at first, but then I realized it was Focus Ash. I started to get worried. I was like, dude, is this weakness policy? But now nah, he goes for the Astro Barrage. Like I said, both my Pokemon eat it up very, very easily. Behemoth Blade flies through here. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Battle number one goes to your boy. Easy victory for us. We dominate that Kiram and that's Chatterout of Calyx in the back end. And we start off 1-0 for today's video. Second match coming at you guys. We're going up against a lovely little Marshadow team. I love Marshadow. Definitely my favorite mythical Pokemon in Series 13. But we're going to have to bring it down here and go 2-0 for today's video. He also has a Zacian. He has a Thunderous. He has Zekrom. And then he has a Belta, And then an Intimidate and Sinwar. Which I think he might lead. Right? He might end up leading that. Which kind of makes me want to go into Zapdos. I really do like Zapdos here. I could, could go Zapdos alongside with Grimstarl. Set up screens. Have fake tears ready to roll. I kind of do like that kind of do like that so you know what i am gonna lead both of them. bring both of those pokemon in take weather control with kai ogre and then final pokemon do i go zacian i feel like zacian's the play right zacian's just too good not to bring yeah i really do like that let's lock it in let's lock it down let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two but this one could be tough i mean i think he's gonna lead in Sinor. that's exactly why i let a special attacker like zapdos just so we can get after the battle that way and then Gripstrong can kind of just set up screens. Really, I don't really care if that thing's intimidated because I'm just going to set up screens. Potentially faked here a lot. Kind of go off from there. He's going to end up going Zekrom and who else? And Marshan. Zekrom and Marshan. So definitely 100% right. Uh, I think I had to set up a reflect. A reflect and then just go into a straight airstream into uh, Marshan. Kind of dig that play. Airstream right in the Marshadow. Kind of walk from there and then just set up that reflect. It's a lovely little reflect. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. Get off this reflect. I wonder what Marshadow's going to do. Marshadow could swap out. But I do think it's Sash, so I think he might just Sash up the shot and then hit me hard. Let's see what lovely little Marshadow does. Because what moves does it usually do? Usually go, it's usually Endeavor, Close Combat, Shadow Sneak, and Spectral Thief. Those are the normal four moves that uh, most Marshadows run. So, I would think this Marshadow has the same. But I've never seen a Marshadow without with anything different. It's just too strong. Like that moveset is just the best of the best for him. But we're gonna end up Dynamaxing our Zapdos. I think he might end up Dynamaxing Zekrom, right? Wait, Zekrom has to Dynamax here. If not, I'm totally cool with it. But we'll see how this one plays out here. 392 HP. I didn't realize how much HP Zapdos gets. It's a nice chunk. And yep, there's a Dynamax. So the speed turn should go Marshadow. Then my Zapdos. Well, obviously my Grimstar is going to set up a screen first to the Prankster, but attacking-wise, it should be Marshadow, Zapdos, then Zekrom. That should be how it goes. I wonder what he's going to do. Can he pop, like, Policy with Marshadow here? I think that could be an option, and that could be a scary option. We're going to set up the lovely Reflect. I love screen so much. That's why I love this screen, Grimstar. It's just so good. It really is. He's going to coach up. Okay, so it's a coaching. That's exactly what he's doing. So it is physical attacking. Big time reflect coming out here. I do like it. And we're just going to airstream. The airstream's going to fly here. We are going to bring this thing down to Sash, right? Yep, it is a Sash Pokemon. And then from here, I wonder who he's going to attack here. I mean, his defense boost, I might start, start dropping his special defense, but I really want to take out the Marshadow. With a, uh, I really do want to take out the Marshadow with the Spirit Break here. If he's going to end up going for an airstream, he's going to match our speed. That's a smart play. A real smart play. So he matches our speed. Um, Marshadow is back being fastest, and I might just still fake tier this Pokemon. Do I fake tier that guy before we go out? There's a lot of physical attackers, so I think we're finally not setting up a light screen. I kind of want to fake tier that thing. And then there's Airstream to Marshadow. So if I go for a Spirit Break and Marshadow comes after my Grimmsnarl, it would just be a waste of a turn. So I'm just going to end up faked here and go into a prankster move. And this thing, of course, is white herbed. 
Oh, wow. Wait, Herb comes out there and he's going to coach up again. Though he's coaching, he's plus two on defense. That's totally fine. I'm cool with that. And I'm just going to jump into the airstream. The airstream comes out here. We pick up the KO onto him. And I think he's going to go for another airstream and take out Mike Grimstar, right? That seems like the option he wants to go for. This battle's going to be low-key close. It really is. You going for another airstream? I would think he would, right? Trying to match speed. Yeah, so he's going to take out my Grimstarl. That's totally fine. So Grimstarl is gone. Wow, he really had white herb. He really had white herb ready to go. And I wonder if my Zacian plus one Zacian could take out or outspeed a... A what's it called? I could plus my Kyogre, which would be good. But I feel like Zacian's got to be the player. I think we have to go into Zacian. Maybe just protect him. Really depends who he goes into. So, is that his Zacian? I think he threw out Zacian. Yeah, we're both throwing out Zacian here. <laughs> Zacian's just a play. It is just a lovely play. And I, again, I think I just had the airstream. I think we need speed here. I really do think we need speed. It's so funny that we're both using the airstream, just kind of popping them. But yeah, I gotta take speed here. I am gonna go into the Zacian just to chip up a little bit of damage, and I am just gonna protect my Zacian. And then we're just gonna go from there, because I'm kind of hoping he doesn't go for an airstream. And we go for an airstream, and then we take speed. Which would be beautiful. That'd be big time plays from us. Big, big time plays from us. But I feel like we're gonna do the same thing. I think both of us are gonna protect Sassian. I think both of us are gonna airstream. I just think that's the play. So I protect. Hopefully he didn't protect. He does not protect. So we get off an airstream. We should be able to chip up a nice little little bit of damage, even though it's not very effective. Yeah, it's beautiful. That should be enough for a behemoth blade to actually take that thing out. Then we kinda go from there. So speed boost coming out here. Let's see what Zekrom's doing. I just gotta hope Sekrom's not going for an airstream. That's all I'm hoping for. And of course, cool, it goes for a lightning. I'm down for that. I'm down for that all day. So it goes for a lightning. We take a lot of speed here. We take a lot of speed here. It's huge. We take a lot of speed here. And he gives us a little extra train, which I really do like. So extra train's out here. Behemoth Blade's gonna fly. Zapdo should be able to eat this up. And I really hope he does. Can you eat this up, please? Please and thank you. Yeah, all day. Oh, that you soaked that up. Zapdos soaks that up. That's big time soaks. That's big time soaks from Zapdos. Okay, so we know that the Zekrom is plus two right now. We know Zekrom's sitting here plus two on defense. So I don't know if I want to go into a play rough onto it. I kind of would rather go into like a Thunder. That would be awesome. But I could also go into a Heat Wave, but uh, I don't know. Let's say we try to land a Thunder here. Because again, I know Behemoth Blade can actually take this Zashin out. So I'm going to go after it. Try to roll from there, and of course he protects it. I was gonna call it too. I was gonna call it too. Maybe we get a paralyze onto this thing. We'll see. Thunder's gonna actually still connect, which is awesome. And how much damage is this really gonna do? Yeah, nothing. Can we get a para? Or is that not allowed? It's not allowed. Behemoth Blade flies. That's a good block. And can we soak up whatever this thing has to offer? I don't think we can. We can go into a bulk strike. That's definitely taking out my Zassian. Or can you go after Zapdos, please? Nope, Zassian is dead. He's gone. He is gone. Now we're sitting in a real tough spot. A real tough spot here. A real tough spot. Because this thing outspeeds my Kyogre. This thing outspeeds my Kyogre. And a bull strike just takes me out all day. This hurts. This one's going to hurt. This one's going to hurt. So from here, I got to just keep dropping Thunders. I'm going to drop this one into the Zacian. I feel like a Water Spout just has to come out here, right? Or do we or do we choice into like an Ice Beam? Ice Beam wouldn't be bad considering... Who I think he has in the back end would be like Altal. I kind of just want to go into an Ice Beam get a super effective shot off. But again, I think the Zekrom just outspeeds. He's going to take us out no problem. And Zekrom ends up protecting. Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. Thunder's going to fire. Give me a Paralyze on this thing. It's Stab. And the Latch Train is out. That's some big time damage. We like that damage. And we get the Para. We get the big time Para. We get the big time Para there. Ice Beam's going to fly. It is going to get blocked. And I wonder. I wonder if Kyra can outspeed. But he's going to get off the player off, and he's going to take out my zap. Poor little zip zap. Poor little zip zap. It's gone. Yeah, this battle is not looking good for us. Not looking good for us. But I got, I'm choice to an ice beam here. I'm going to hope the Zacian's paralyzed, and we're just going to wash strong here. But I think Zekrom outspeeds, right? Zekrom should outspeed. Zacian's going to straight up protect here. That's cool. Can we outspeed the Zekrom? We do not. But he misses. Hold up. Wait a minute, yo, KO. I don't think it's going to KO, but still. Give me some damage. Freeze him. Freeze him. Give me the freeze. No freeze. We need him to miss another bolt strike. I'm just going to go back into him, even though he, he might protect. 
No, I guess for the bull strike, and that's GG's. That is GG's. <laughs> Poke guys were like, here, you can have one dodge of the bull strike. Just one. You're going to lose anyway, but there it is, guys. One on one for today's video. You guys know we're going to hop into that third and final battle and grab you guys a winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. But we're going up against such a cool team. He's got a Keldeo and Zerud team, which is absolutely amazing. I love both those Pokemon, but obviously they are not that strong in Series 13. He also has Groudon. He's got Palkia, Wimscott, and Zacian for his final Pokemon. But how should we go into this one? I think like Zero Ward is just a solid lead. He can do some work all around. He's got the Fake Out. He's got the Speed Control with E-Web. I just really like him. So I'm going to go Zero Ward here. And I think I might go Yveltal or Zapdos, potentially Dynamax right off the rip. Kind of get one from there. If I go Zapdos, I feel like we would get more value out of Zapdos here. I do indeed like the Zapdos. We do have the Airstream. We do have the uh, the Heat. We do have the Electric. I like Zapdos here. So I'm going to go Zapdos. I'm going to bring Kyogre in the back end just so I can win that Weather War. And then Zacian is definitely our best option here. So I'm going to bring Zacian. I am going to bring Zacian. But I wonder who he's going to lead. Probably Wimsicott and somebody who he wants to do next. Maybe Wimsicott Palkia. He could pop Trick Room. Trick Room is definitely an option for him. But, uh... I can fake out and I can kind of go from there. It really depends what he wants to do. So I can see him leading Whimsicott and Groudon, Whimsicott's Rude, Whimsicott Palkia. It's just going to be Whimsicott somebody, I feel like, right? It's got to be. It's definitely got to be. But we'll see who he wants to go in. We shall see. But if he goes into Whimsicott, do I fake it out and just dump on it with an Airstream? I could. I could definitely do that. You have options here. You have plenty of options. Let's see. Whimsicott and who, who is that? And the path. Okay. So this is where it gets a little rough. This is definitely where it gets a little rough. Because he could Tailwind. Um, he could Trick Room. Huh. What do I want to do here? I kind of want to fake it out and then go after the Palkia. Where do I fake it out and just take it out? Oh my god. What am I? What do I want to do? Because if I fake it out and take it out, the Palkia can legit just go into a Trick Room. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna play simple here. I'm just gonna play smart. I'm gonna play simple. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna fake it out, and I'm gonna take out the one's got the fake out take out tactic. And cool, he Dynamaxes Palkia. We like that. We don't mind that turn. And it's weird to see that the Palkia actually outspeeds my Zapdos. Fast little Palkia. Palkia is so good. They have a Soul Fest on my uh on my Zero Aura, but I think he's just gonna drop a quick. But we're hoping he has no protect on the one's got. And we just fake it out and we take it out, right? That's the plan all day. The fake out, take out tactic. Works sometimes. Like I started overthinking everything. I was just like, yo, let me play it simple. Let me just go with the fake out, go with the airstream. And again, hopefully he's not protecting. If he doesn't protect, this could be a solid turn for us because we take speed. We get rid of the Scott. I'm down with this. I'm down with this. Let's see. No protect from the Wimps Wimps. No protect. Awesome. No protect. Fake out, take out tactics. Gonna work wonders here. We're going to flinch him, and he's going to go. He's going to drop a geyser. So we got set weather. That's totally fine. We actually benefit from that a little bit. And he's going to go after my Zapdos. That's totally fine. So Zapdos is going to take damage. We are going to take speed, and weather is going to come out here. So I can Plasma Fist. I can Volt Switch out. I think is Life Orb. And it did do half of my damage, which kind of hurts, because we know that another guy's going to take us out, especially in this ring. We get rid of Whimsy. Bye-bye. And I could... You have from here, but the Pokemon I have in the back end definitely outspeed Palkia. I could Volt Switch here as well. I could Volt Switch, get out Zassian, and just play rough into that. But again, it depends who he brings out here. So that's not a bad turn. It's not a bad turn. We get rid of his support mod with Whimsicott. Nothing going on here. He's going to bring out Keldeo. But Keldeo's going to fly, and I don't know if he's forcing an electric move, if he's trying to bait an electric move, which he might be doing with Groudon. But I think I just Plasma Fist and I go straight into that like that. And then I just Max Lightning straight into Palkia. I think that's a solid call. And he does not look for the bait. He's just going to take this Plasma Fist to the chin. He's going to take it. Plasma Fist comes out here onto the Keldeo and we do a good amount of damage. Look at that. Bring it down to the red. We love it. We love it. Max Lightning's going to fly here. Going to deal some damage. And I think he just takes out my, uh, my Zapdos with the guys, right? That seems like what he wants to do. And Kaldeo. Can Kaldeo take out my Zero Aura? I don't think it can. I don't think Kaldeo is that strong. Icy Wind's coming out here. So he's trying to slow us down. Zero Aura's going to dodge that. And I actually like Zero Aura dodge that. Because we know he's going to take out my Zapdos, right? Right? We know he's going to take out my Zapdos. Can he take out my Zapdos, please? Take out my Zapdos. He does. Okay. So 
awesome that my Zero Order actually dodged that because my Zero Order stays fastest on the field. And we can take out Caldeo next turn. So I feel like I just bring out Zassian here. I can play rough into the Palkia. And I can also go into a Plaza Fist into Caldeo. But I think play rough should be able to do enough damage, right? But the only problem here is there's only one problem. I miss play roughs like crazy when I need it. When I need it most, I miss play roughs like crazy. But I have an odd feeling right now that I'm going to lose this battle to this miss play rough. Real odd feeling right now. But from here, I could Volt Switch out, which I think is going to be my play. Volt Switch out into Kai Ogre. And then just play rough into here. Just so I can have Zero Order in the back end with another fake out. Here comes the Volt Switch. See you later, Keldeo. You are dead. And we get to bring out Kai Ogre on top of that, which Kai Ogre can do some more. But dude, I'm scared. I don't think this playoff's gonna land. I really don't think this playoff's gonna land. I have an odd feeling Jeans is just feels it in his gut. I'm getting a little worried here. I'm getting a little worried. Come on, playoff. I need you here. I told yo, I told you. What did I just say? I told you guys. I told you guys. I said it. I said it. I do bro. I can't do this game. I hate playoff. I kid you not, it is the worst move in all of Pokemon. In all the Pokemon, it is hands down the worst move. Hands down the worst move. That hurts the soul right there. Okay, so we did take some damage. He's gonna go into Zacian. I mean, we outspeed Zacian. Well, my Kyogre does. And I can just go into an old But yo, come on now. Come on, that Palkia should be dead. I should have a full health Kyogre. We should be rolling strong. Pyroph should be able to still take KO of this Palkia now that's out of Dynamax. But I am just gonna go into his Origin Pulse. So Origin Pulse is gonna fly. I'm gonna go for the play rough. We're gonna roll. Yo, that hurts, man. I do have Zero Ore in the back of the Little Zero Ore. That hurts, man. I like that that one hurts. It hurts the soul. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's gonna stay in here. Orange Bolt's gonna fly here. Connect them both. Do some damage to Zassian, right? Yep. Do half, and I need to play rough to land. And of course his Zassian outspeeds mine, but my Zassian should be able to eat up the shot, right? Unless he gets crit. Oh no, please don't get a crit. Leave me alone. Okay, we eat it up. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Player off comes out here. And it lands! And it lands! Thank the Lord. I knew I was missing it, yo. I said it like five minutes before that, too. Not five minutes, but like a little bit before that. I was just like, dude, we have player off, but I know I'm gonna miss it. But I know I'm gonna miss it. But I'm gonna stay into my uh my origin pulse here. I'm just gonna drop a behemoth blade. And that's gonna be GG's, right? That should be GG's, unless we miss an attack, but I think we should be fine here. Just for quick attack. Ooh, he's quick attacking me. He don't kill me. That's embarrassing. We miss our origin pulse, which oh my god, dude, we're just missing attacks. But but he Blade's gonna come in here. It's gonna clean up this battle. Now it's gonna be GG's, and we're gonna go two and one for today's video, which is absolutely amazing. It feels good to get another winning record in Sword and Shield. I just feel like all my videos as recently were either perfect records or winning records in Sword and Shield, which is awesome because I just feel like I've been getting better at the game and playing a lot better at the same time. But this team right here is just amazing all around. It is stacked up to the brim with some good restricted mods and also has some great support mods with the Grim Snarl and the Zero Orb. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.